Hey everyone, everyone. Welcome, welcome back, back to, to Five Minute Eats, and today we have got our last and final installment, thank goodness, of this particular brand of tea that we have been trying. I believe this is the third one, and we've only seen three in our area, so if they have more, we'll be on the lookout, but this is the Swoon Zero Sugar Peach Iced Tea, 12 fluid ounces, zero grams of sugar, sweetened by monk fruit, and it has only five calories. And it says, Swoon isn't your grandmother's iced tea. Ours is naturally sweetened with monk fruit and brewed with real black tea. Finally, good for you, tastes good. I feel like I gotta cut them. They're insulting my grandma's tea. <laughs> iced tea, I know, I, yeah, right? Like, what's wrong with hers? You, you know, know what? what? After <laughs> trying the previous two, I would prefer my grandma's I would iced wanna tea. take my grandma's iced tea and <laughs> Douse them with yeah, it. Yeah, douse them with it, because I think she makes a good one. Yeah. Now, here's the thing. We did the first one. I think we both didn't like it, correct? Yes, that was the half and half, I want to say, or maybe the lemonade. Oh, no, we did the lemonade first. Then we did the half and half one. Which I think we were split on we it. Were, we were half I, and half on that. Because I liked it, I believe. <laughs> yes, you did. Now, peach iced tea. I think that's going to be really tough to pull off. Yes. Because um, this swoon is like, you know, it's definitely different. Yeah. Because they're trying to go for like a sugar-free one and it's got the immunity support and all yeah. this kind of like gimmicky stuff so um i hate the packaging oh yeah i really hate their like um it just it's too busy too busy yeah, yeah exactly and guys if you're new to our channel basically we review every day gross items so before you spend your hard-earned money let us tell you if it's worth it also um is there lemon i don't know wow do, yeah do you smell that yeah i do there's peach juice concentrate and there is, um, there's no actual lemon in here. Really? It just has like a bunch of acids and like natural flavors. Oh wow, okay. So This thing smells like rotting peach though. Yeah, but. But what, there's know, no but it could, after it, that. It could be good. If you'd like to support this channel, the easiest way to do that is using our Amazon links the next time you shop there. All right guys, welcome back our rating system. Thumbs up wide again, thumbs down, we do not. So you know, we're gonna mix it up. I will let you go first. For me, it's a thumbs down. This tastes like vomit. Like the worst possible eight day old Taco Bell in your stomach, rotting fruit vomit. And if that sounds disgusting, it should, because this tastes disgusting. This thing is the most horrendous, terrible thing I have drank in a long effing time. Uh, there, there's so much wrong with this. There's not one single good thing right with this. I'll tell you that right now. Number, what would you would like to say? Well, I was gonna say, so it's a thumbs down then, right? Did I, did I not say a thumbs down? Yeah, you did. So, okay, all it's right. a thumbs down. Okay, so for me, it is also a thumbs down. I think the issue is the smell, I think it, you could get used to it. No. Because it's like a, um, like kind of a musty peach smell. It's rotting. Um, I think if you like, you know, are down south in Georgia where they grow peaches or whatever, the peaches have been picked for a couple of days and they're sitting there, they're starting to... Um, rot. Almost rot. <laughs> you know, they're probably developing a strong <laughs> smell. I think it's kind of like that. You could get used to it. I think the big issue is when you drink it, it's the aftertaste. Because initially, when you taste it, you're like, okay, this is not bad. But that aftertaste is really intense. I wonder if it's, is it the monk sugar or something like that they said? Um, I don't know. It's something it's, in it. I think it's everything, man. It's just really a bitter aftertaste. It's really intense. It's gross. If you like what we're doing here, please consider sending us super thanks. It helps us continue to provide more amazing content. So that's why I give it a thumbs down. What were you we going to uh, say? Yeah, I'd like to keep going. Yeah. Um, so. Because I knew you were going to. So I was <laughs> you like, you know. To get out of yeah, the way. I wanted to get out of the way. Okay, yeah. okay. Thank you for stepping aside and letting me take the stage. So the you said that the initial flavor is not that bad. I think it's still pretty freaking bad. Like to me, it tasted the way that like hot garbage smells. It's just, it's wrong. And then you actually taste like all of the flavors as you're swallowing it and you're starting to get that aftertaste. Number one, it doesn't taste like peach so much as it tastes like, like a weird zombie apocalypse peach. And it also doesn't really taste like black tea. It has this extreme bitterness, almost as if they, 
They tried to make a fake black tea rather than using actual tea. And then you get this intense grossness. And I think that it's perhaps a combination of the monk fruit and the natural and artificial flavors or whatever they're using. It's just all not working. It's really disgusting. I think that this is horrendous. To sum it up, thumbs down, thumbs down. And if you guys buy from Amazon, use our Amazon link. The reason is when you do that, we get 10 cents, 50 cents, possibly even a dollar, which means we can continue to review things. All right, guys, that's the video. If you like what we're doing here, definitely check out our other channel, Food Prep Inc. And don't forget to give us a like and subscribe.